Hi everyone and welcome back and in this video about JavaScript we are going to talk about uh, proto and a prototype okay so these are two more important aspects of JavaScript and somehow like most of the time people misunderstood the concept of proto and prototype we will talk about what is proto and what is prototype and how both of these are related to one another okay so we'll just talk about simple computer function and we will add prototype properties on the computer function and then we'll create object by calling the constructor of a function and then we will we'll relate what is proto and what is prototype so what this so let's create a simple computer function okay what this computer function is doing nothing here and here we will add the prototype property onto this computer function computer.prototype.mouse here I will add a prototype property it can be a simple variable or a function dot monitor right so these are the two prototype properties I have added there can be many more right now how we are going to create an object of this constructor function I mean from this function is we simply do const obj equal to new computer this is how we simply create an object out of it right now objects have proto and function has a prototype this is simple baseline which, which you should have now proto is an object in every class instance okay so proto points to uh, an object in every function instance or so here we are creating the object by calling a constructor function new computer right what this new computer is doing is new computer is creating a new object using this constructor function okay and it will have a proto and then how these proto and prototypes are linked so what we are doing in this example is we are actually creating a simple computer function added bunch of prototype properties and whenever you are going to call the constructor of this computer function it will give you the new object similarly this new object will have this prototype properties also attached to it now rest of all these things we can actually check in the v8 console how all these things are interrelated how all these things are working so I will just zoom in a little bit so it's uh, clear okay so let's paste this and now okay obj is already declared so what we will do is object one or you can see i will just put a complete object right now if you try to see here we'll talk about each and everything in detail like console.dir computer function what it is first of all so this computer is nothing but a function here you can see and it has a prototype right so what is the prototype is containing prototype is containing three properties mouse monitor and a constructor okay I can actually go into the full screen mode and we'll talk about all these things here you can see console.dr computer it has prototype so every function has a prototype so computer is a function if I see computer dot prototype you can see these are the three properties which is these are two properties I created by myself by just appending computer dot prototype uh, dot mouse and monitor this constructor property is already there and what this constructor property does it helps us to create the object out of it now when I'm writing a simple object from this function I already have an object so I will just say object one right so whatever the object you keep creating either object object one right I created object I created object one so what is the uses of adding these prototype properties is whatever the object you are now going to create using this constructor function every object will have these prototype properties which has been added here so even if you create a 10 instance of this computer function using new keyword all will get this prototype properties now if you just go go to this object one and see this in the prototype 
you can see now this is an object it will have a proto not prototype but this proto contains this monitor mouse and constructor function right so first of all the prototype of a computer is containing these now you have created object out of it object one so object will have a proto so object proto so if you do object dot proto it is same as prototype of a function okay so if i just do and here i try to talk about constructor okay wait a second computer dot prototype yes this is what i was talking about so this proto of this object how we created the object object using the new keyword in the constructor function so the proto is same as the prototype of the computer function now let's go into the deep of this object one and see what it contains so object has a proto that we understand every object has a proto property like if you just create a simple object const ll equal to simply curly braces right it also has a proto and you can access it using proto right and then when you keep doing it it will the proto chain will go till you reach to the null i mean capital o object proto now it will give null right so every object will have a proto here we are creating the object from the constructor function so if you just talk about object 1 it has this proto property right what now what this proto property contains it contains all the prototype properties of a function now let's go back computer dot prototype what does it contain three things right same set of properties you can see is available in the proto right so that's why we are saying object 1 dot proto is same as computer dot prototype right so we are creating the objects out of the constructor prototype so how we are creating the object using new keyword right what is happening with this it is actually creating the new object by calling the constructor function so it is calling this constructor function creating the new object and adding all the new prototype or adding all the prototype properties of this computer function to the newly created object because object is nothing but object's proto will point to the const prototype of a function again let's let take a look onto this object object was also created earlier right it has a proto in the proto you can see all these things now if you just try to access this all these properties object dot uh, proto right now dot here you can actually also access construct uh, constructor this is actually a function right now this is same as the function right now you got the function so objects proto constructor is pointing to the same function you have created from which the object is has been created right so this is actually mystery of this proto and prototype proto points to the object and prototype is something belongs to the functions but both are kind of same the objects proto will always points to the prototype of a function from which it has been created okay now coming back to our slides proto is an object in every class instance that points to the prototype it was created from this line is very important so now we have seen the proto of an object is pointing to the prototype of a function from which it was created that is true now we can see this the object proto is actually pointing to the prototype of the function from which it is created and if you go to the constructor of that proto you will actually get the function itself okay there are many advantages of creating these prototype is something like you can create a multiple objects all these prototype properties of a function will replicate right they will maintain only one common reference and all the objects will inherit all the prototype properties of a function other function can also inherit these properties like uh, that is called inheritance concept right prototypal inheritance so prototypal inheritance means the prototype properties of a one function 
how we can extend that in the another function so that is called prototypal inheritance in javascript that means is once prototype so that is called prototype chain and proto chain and all proto chain we talked yes uh, in the last video where you actually create a object and you create a new object out of it then the proto chain will points to the previously i mean the parent object okay and all the objects points to the capital o object okay so how how we create a prototype simply if we just see this so here i am creating a simple function const x it's an anonymous function there are many ways to create a function right x is already declared what i can do is t1 so define t1 dot now you can see all these properties and arguments right arguments color length prototype so if i just talk about prototype right this prototype is belonging to the same function right here you can add the properties so here okay i wanted to add a property say hi which is again a function right so if you just do t1 dot prototype it has two things one is constructor and one is say hi right say hi we have added now whatever the object you are going to create const c2 equal to new i'm going to create an object from t1 right so c2 dot constructor it is pointing to the function and c2 itself will have a proto because it's an object c2 is having proto of the t1 function so in the proto you can see the say hi is a constructor and if you just talk about t1 dot proto is actually same as uh, t1 t1 is an object okay sorry c2 is an object we have created and t2 is a function so let me get a little bit confused it's a t1 is a function not t2 right this is how it it belongs okay now what is the need of creating these prototype properties okay one function and some prototype properties other function can also inherit this right so this is how inheritance works that prototype of a one function can be copied into the another function so this is how you will be doing inheritance right and you don't need to copy right another function can also have the same uh, prototype properties so you can see in this function t1 what all prototype properties i have if i do console.dir right it has these prototype properties say hi maybe some more properties gets added now if there is another function which wants to inherit all these properties together right then that is concept of a inheritance in javascript using which you will be able to copy the prototype properties of one function into another function that we, we can take a look what is this prototypal inheritance and uh, the compositions okay but that is very important concept in javascript how the inheritance works now let's uh, go back to our uh, previous topic so the proto is that former is a property of a class constructor while the later the property becomes the class instance right so i hope now uh, we are clear how we are creating the proto and the prototype okay every object has a proto property with it const c5 v5 equal to either you create a empty curly braces then v5 if you just try to inspect it it will have a proto and the proto will point to now v5 you have created as a empty curly braces right so proto of v5 will point to the constructor of object because every object is created from capital o object okay so what you are thinking about this this is nothing but a function and whatever this v5 object we have created that the proto of the v5 so if i do v5 dot uh, underscore underscore proto is let's say this it should not be because constructor dot object dot prototype okay let's see sorry i did this wrong i was actually comparing this true right why because if you just do this v5 
V5 is an object, but the proto of this V5 is pointing to the constructor of the capital O object. Every object is created in JavaScript with the help of capital O object, and this is nothing but a function. If you just see, type of capital O object is nothing but a function. Similarly, there is a capital F function also. If you have gone through this capital F function, every function is inheriting the properties from the capital F function, right? So either you create something like this. So what is the difference? So if you are doing something like object dot create, in that case the situation will be a little different because we okay I just need to change this to something else v6. Now if I do v6, it is not having the proto right because you are creating from the null. Otherwise. When you are writing something like existing object, it means you are creating, inheriting some, extending some properties from the previous object, and then creating the new object. In that case, v7 proto, v7 proto will point the capital O object. You see, now it is cascading because v7 proto is pointing to this, then this proto is pointing to the capital O object, and here you are extending all the properties. You can see object dot freeze and all these properties you are able to access in this v7 right so these all things are there important aspects about prototype and proto okay that's it thanks everyone